In today's A-level IB biology video we're going to be looking at all things relating to cancer and really it's going to be a whole load of different definitions. Underpinning this we need to understand what a tumour is. Now a tumour is a group of abnormal cells that cause lumps or growths. Now there are two types, benign tumours and the malignant type. Now, benign tumours, we tend to say, are non-cancerous. And really, the reason for this is because they do not spread to other parts of the body. Now, malignant tumours tend to be cancerous. And the reason for this is due to their ability to divide out of control and spread into other tissues. But how are these tumours formed in the first place? So oncogenesis is an important word here and it simply means the formation of tumours. So how does this happen? Well we know from a previous video that the control of how cells divide and replicate occurs by something called the cell cycle and really when we're looking at oncogenesis and the formation of tumours we're losing control of the cell cycle. How does this loss of control occur? Well as always, it's due to mutation in the genes involved in the control of the cell cycle. So we're looking at mutation in genes known as oncogenes. So this loss of control of the cell cycle is brought about by mutation in genes involved in the control of the cell cycle. Now these genes involved in the control of the cell cycle are known as oncogenes. So we're looking really at mutations in these. Just while we're on the subject, let's quickly define mutation. Well, it's a spontaneous change in the DNA of an organism. And therefore, a mutagen is a chemical which increases the likelihood of a mutation occurring. Carcinogen is a chemical which increases the likelihood of a cancer forming. Examples of both mutagens and carcinogens include ionising radiation, UV light, X-rays. So we can see really that what's happening with cancer is that certain chemicals such as X-rays and ionising radiation may lead to mutation, so that spontaneous change in DNA, which can cause a mutation in the genes which control the cell cycle, so oncogenes, which lead to uncontrolled cell cycle and therefore uncontrolled cell division. So it's a process which all builds on top of each other. So what happens when control control of the cell cycle has been lost. Well, there's a number of steps which occur. Well, we know there's going to be uncontrolled cell division, which is really going to lead to a mass of cells forming. And this initial mass is known as the primary tumour. And because it doesn't tend to spread, to other places, we've already assigned this a particular word, which is that it's benign. Now, if they do spread, tumours form elsewhere, and therefore these are known as secondary tumours, and tend to be far more dangerous. We say that they're malignant, and this is really what the cancer is. Notice that when the cells spread, What's really happened is that metastasis has taken place. So we can say that the definition is the spreading of cells to form tumours in different parts of the body. Now the reason people are more worried about this, this cancer which has spread around the body, is because it can cause far more problems with obstructing blood flow, growing in places where there really shouldn't be balls of cells growing. 
And unless those tumours are treated successfully, then there can be the chance of the patient's death.